Welcome to our new series, which focuses on going more in-depth into the origins of heroes and villains. This week, we're going to be heavily focusing on the origins of all of these head lanterns that you guys love, so we can get you prepared for some good old-fashioned lantern stories. If you learned something new, let us know by giving this video a like, and follow us on our Twitter, at ComicStorian. There, we can discuss any comic books you want, or anything you really want, because we actually do get a chance to respond to you on Twitter. Let us know in the comments down below any other comic book heroes and villains you would like us to do, and let's get started. Today, it's time for Larflees. Now, I want to specify, Larflees' origins are a little mixed up. There was an original version that we know about, and then he retold it in his solo issue. A few key points have been altered, and it's explained as, Larflees is really old, so he's not even sure of his own history. Larflees is from an extremely long-lived race of beings. His family was a down-and-out farm family that was used to the harshest lifestyle on their planet. As a matter of fact, Larflees' mother, Larfluzi, gave birth to him while working in the fields he was considered one of the ugliest babies that they had ever had. Things were so rough that she went right back to work without even considering the child that she just gave birth to. He had 17 brothers and sisters and they all hated him and forced him into working at the ripe old age of 10 months old. But Larflees didn't see any problems with any of this. In fact, he felt loved by his family and he loved his mother and his brothers and sisters. Eventually he was taken from this life that he loved by an alien race and he was forced into slavery. It is there that he married another of his race named Bronchia. And with her, he had many strong children, as he puts it. But all of his children were sold into slavery. Larflees worked as a chamber boy, and then he worked as a miner. And then eventually, on some nameless asteroid, Bronchia died, and Larflees was forced to bury her on that asteroid. It was that day that Larflees decided that he didn't want to die a slave, and he thought of an escape route by hiding among the dead body cart. That cart was supposed to drop the bodies of all the slaves into the furnace, and Larflees was forced to fight his way through the flames and the burning bodies until he got to the surface. And it was here that he discovered that he was on an asteroid in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by enemies. He snuck into the communications room, where he shut down all communications and he freed all of the slaves. The slaves then proceeded to kill their masters, while Larflees watched from a safe distance. Once the asteroid was secure, he stole a transport and he got the heck off that rock. Now, Larflees himself has stated that half of this story is true, but he won't tell us which half. He then proceeded to become a master thief, and he joined a gang. His group and him eventually stole an artifact off of the planet's Maltius, an artifact that contained the essence of Parallax, the fear entity. Well, because he had the fear entity in a box, the Guardians of the Galaxy and the Manhunters, which were their first intergalactic police force before the Lanterns, chased Larflees and his gang across the galaxy. Once they got away from the Manhunters, Larflees' gang discovered that they also got away with more than the box that contained Parallax. They also got a map to some great treasure, a map that was written by Krona. This map led his group to the Vega system, where they explored a temple. And it was at the center of this temple that they all discovered the Orange Lantern, the Light of Avarice, the primal essence of greed. The light forced all of the gang to fight amongst themselves. They all wanted this power. They all deserved this power. But Larflees, Larflees won in the end, and he became the sole owner of the Orange Lantern, the sole owner of mine. And that's how Larflees got his ring and became the sole Orange Lantern in the universe. He has claimed to be a million years old, and claimed to be a billion years old. We only truly know that he's older than the Manhunters, and they're older than the entire Lantern Corps. Like I said earlier, his story is something along these lines, but even Larflees has stated that he's lied about some of this. And he's so old that he doesn't remember a lot of it. His origin story was revealed in issue 41 of Green Lantern Volume 4 and issue 1 of Larflees. And there's one more that goes into this, but I can't seem to find it, and I've been looking for it for days now. So if you know what issue it is, let me know in the comments down below. If you learned something new, like I said, give this video a like because we really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys right here next time at Comic Story.